No, I originally uh, started at the uh, Jamaica Tourist Board. I was the director of cruise shipping for Jamaica and um, recognized that there was a disconnect with the, with the Port Authority. Um, they were not very focused on cruise, and so their facilities and that sort of thing was not very good. And uh, reached out to them, and with the support of the Ministry of Tourism of the day, recognized that they were really the, the right entity to be, since they were the port, port Authority, that they were really the right entity to be managing the, uh, the cruise industry relationship. So that would be directly with the cruise lines. Whereas the Ministry of Tourism um, is better focused on the consumer and the travel agent. So that's why we did that, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it, it, there's, there's, it's kind of like this never-ending improvement. So uh, even when the biggest, nicest, or not even the biggest and nicest, but amazing technology advances happen, it, it never stops. It never, it, 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 it's always changing and the improvements are always there and the, the quality and the services and all of that. And it's, uh, it's, I just find it a, a fascinating industry. It's good, there's a lot of camaraderie. Um, in, when, you're, when you're looking at, I come from, a, from, a, a, from the travel agent slash consumer side, uh, working from hotels side of it. So the difference there is you're kind of just promoting your single product, whereas what's interesting is we promote the region. So, so it's Jamaica first, but, but we recognize that we have partners and our partners surround us as the other destinations. And so that creates that camaraderie that's there, which is really good. I do. Um, <laughs> And uh, it was in Miami, and uh, it was just uh, bigger and more overwhelming than I, than I ever imagined. But it's an interesting thing because, uh, as I tried to explain to people, it's a huge industry, but it's a small industry because there's still only a handful of players. So it's not like saying um, you're in the hotel industry, which there are, there are brands you've never even heard of. In the cruise industry, even if they're small operators, um, if you've been exposed uh, you know, in some sort of way, like a sea trade, then then you very much um, you know who they all are. So it makes it makes targeting a bit easier as well. Uh, it was the marketing side. So I, I was uh, working for a big chain of resorts in, in the Caribbean, um, and uh, they uh, they were an incredibly dynamic company in marketing and so on. And then I moved back to Jamaica, and uh, and so this kind of presented itself an opportunity. I saw well, there's a there's a there's an opportunity here to do marketing, much like I did before, but uh, to a different industry. And um, I just found it, uh, it was just a different approach, but I was still trying to take the same sort of um, uh, channel or just uh, trying to do the same sort of focus from that uh, to this industry. And it's, it's kind of worked for us. I mean, we've, we've been able to highlight our strengths, you can, which is ultimately what you do in marketing. You highlight the strengths and, and, and disguise your weaknesses, whatever they may be, and, and, um, and learn and, and, and hopefully improve from it. The advice would be to try and uh, understand how itinerary, first and foremost, understand if you're going to be doing it from a destination standpoint, uh, understand how itinerary planning works. That it's just, uh, there, are too many, there's so many, there are a number of elements that have to work for your destination to be there. And uh, recognize that there's also supporting destinations that will work with you and you should work with them. Also recognize what it is that differentiates your destination from another destination. So it's a variety of things. First of all, you need to understand how the ships are able to come to you, if they're able to come to you. And, uh, and then understand the services you need to be able to provide to make them want to. You have to kind of create that desire. And um, that's, I would say, they want to kind of learn that as much as they can. And as I indicated, I, I, I had the opportunity of, uh, to attend the Sea Trade Academy many years ago. And uh, it was one of those ones that had already been in the industry about two years. And uh, I immediately thought within two days, if I had known this, then it would have saved a lot of time <laughs> and effort. So, and read as much as you can yeah. and try and also anticipate the direction that the cruise lines are going in, what the trends are, and, um, and if you can learn what those trends are, then in a sense you can prepare your, your own offering uh, to, to meet those trends and, and desires. Awesome.